All right, let's have a look at some more copying random objects to points. Now, if you haven't watched it already, I recommend you to watch my previous tutorial where I showed you how can use how can you use this point loop to copy random objects to points. In the comment section, Artem shared with us a method how how you can do this in another way. So let me show you how you can use this method and also I will show you some comparison uh, what what are benefits of one method and what are benefits of the other method now just a quick recap on what I showed you earlier we have just this plane and we created a random attributes on points with values 1, 2, 3 and we use the point loop with a switch and we switched based on this attribute now the other method is is using this piece attribute in the copy to points node mm, and the way it works uh, now this this first method when it was copying something to the point it was just switching between geometry so you could have this 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 or this this one we have everything merged together but everything has its its own identifying attribute and when when it gets copied it actually uses this attribute and and it just selects only those primitives which have these attributes and others are not copied to the point so the way you would do this you can again use the same attribute randomized node create an attribute your custom name and the distribution is custom discrete you can put in the values now you, um, the copy to nodes this uh, piece attribute actually has to be an integer but in here you can only select float or string so the way to get around this you can create a point wrangle and just quickly copy your attribute to a new attribute so this, this previous one we created with this attribute randomized node was a float so float at my id and we are just storing it in a new attribute it's an integer so i at my ID for example 2 and you would put it here as the piece attribute and for each of your input objects you would create a another attribute it has to be the same name as as this piece attribute and actually it worked for me this can be also on primitives and it could be a float so it worked for me so you create a attribute with the same name class doesn't matter I guess let's try point okay so class doesn't matter uh, it can be type doesn't I guess it doesn't matter well But it, I, I guess it would be best to keep it, keep it at an integer, uh, just to be safe. So you click create this attribute, and then it will work as soon as you enable this option. Just make sure that this value, and also this one, this one, and this corresponds with these values now it doesn't have to be 0 1 2 3 but it can be 21 53 doesn't matter but you have to have the same values over here and over here also if you don't need uh, the first my ID as, as you can see it's, it's a float and it's an redundant attribute we don't need it anymore you can actually use a delete attribute 
and from points you can delete this my ID now and as for the the vectors and the up vectors and the normals it works the same in both in both methods so just a point normals and an up vector uh, yeah just make sure you have this enabled transform using target point orientations otherwise it won't rotate okay so now we have these two methods that basically do the same so why should you care why should you care why, why can't you just do it in the first way well it turns out that if you need to just copy copy up ob random objects to points it, this one is actually much faster so let's do time comparison so in here I have a just a small grid and this one is actually extremely large 250,000 points so first here is the new method okay let me change this attribute just to make sure it will recache and recompute now and let's start now. Three, th three, almost four seconds. Okay. Let's put it back to here. So it recomputes no matter what. So remember, the first one was three point six seconds. Wow, now this was a huge, huge jump. So as you can see, this one took much, much longer. Extremely fast. So this is one big advantage. So obviously, well, if you just want to copy random object or just, just copy stuff to points, then this method is obviously champion. No questions asked super fast love it but uh, one thing I like about the second method with this point loop is that a lot of times you may want to attach additional procedures to it to this to the copying method when you're copying so for example I'm, I'm copying my objects random objects and then on top of that I want to add some something like a random bend so I created a, a bend attribute a random value on my points and now in this I'm reading them for from the point loop and it's it's bending it's modifying my objects as they're being copied so this is also extremely handy and if I understand correctly, you can't do it with with this because if I understand correctly, it just takes whatever whatever geometry has this matching attribute and it copies it to the point, so it doesn't know any any loop or it it can't read from the attribute and do something else to it now after playing with this I thought okay I'm gonna be smart I'm gonna combine the speed of the random copying of this first method with, uh, with the additional procedures of, of this method so I thought okay I'm just gonna put put this with the piece attribute in, in a point loop and I'm gonna combine these two methods but when I was testing it it turned out 
this one was actually slower than just the point loop with with not the piece attribute so let's check that out here we have point loop with piece attribute let's try something bigger Right, so this was 17 seconds. Still counting a bit. And now it's done. Now let's switch back to the, just a point loop method. Reset it and let's go. So, as you can see, this also again it's computing something a bit, but as you can see, it's a little bit faster this way. So, it's a shame it doesn't combine the speed and the flexibility of, of the other nodes. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one and have a nice day!